Hi there everybody, welcome back to the Croatian Eurovision Club. My name is Emily, I'm an English speaking contributor to this channel and you can find out more about me over on my channel Milky Brew or my Instagram account Lauren Bruin, which are both linked in the description below. Today's an exciting day because we are going to be, well I, I'm going to be reacting to the Roop Disco Tech which is apparently one of the selections for Lithuania's Eurovision 2021 song. Let's just get straight in. Right, that's just the introduction. I was like, they've just copied the song. <laughs> it's exciting. Oh, discotheque, I think. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Why am I not saying something wrong? I love the the setting, like it's happening straight after their performance of On Fire. Like that's that's the vibe I'm getting. He looks kind of angry. Same. He's having some self-discovery in the mi mirror. <laughs> oh, that's some skills I don't have. Why does he look so confused though? He knows he's doing it. Okay, I feel the rhythm. Oh, something's going on here. This is strange. The music flows through my bed. It's taking over me, it's slowly kicking in My eyes are blinking and I don't know what is happening I can't control it, don't wanna end it There's no one here and I don't care I feel it's like to dance alone Dance alone, dance alone, dance alone, dance alone, dance alone Dance alone, dance alone, dance alone Oh, there they all are They're like, what is happening? Let's go Okay, the crazy dancing's back. What's this remind me of? I'm healing wounded soul. My body shaking heart is breaking, have to let it go. It reminds me of like Lady Gaga. And put my hands up. There's no one here and I don't care I feel it's safe to dance alone Let's this go and cry at my own And it's okay to dance alone Dance alone, dance alone, dance alone Oh, we've got extras this year! Wait, they had extras It's like Lady Gaga if she was in like a strange musical theatre vibe. Like the lyrics are like very musical theatre. Like it's all first person. I mean I know that's true. You know I thought On Fire couldn't get any weirder. Whoa, I want to do that. Oh, he knows he's got a skill. He's what they're looking like. Yeah, watch my kind of. I mean, this is another dance for me to learn. Hmm. 
So I thought it, it couldn't get any weirder than on fire, to be honest. But it, it did. I feel like it's a lot more basic, like it's a lot more simple than on fire. I really don't know how I feel about it, I'm not gonna lie. I definitely didn't enjoy the dance break as much. Like the actual dancing is great, but the actual, like the music of the dance break, I didn't enjoy that as much as I did the on fire. I don't know. I don't know what their other selections are. This is the first one I've seen. Uh, but honestly, I don't think this is that strong an entry to Eurovision. It's not as likable as on fire was. And I think there's potential for a better song there, to be honest. I mean, the song is already stuck in my head, it's quite catchy. But I just don't, I don't really know if it was anything that special. Oh, I hate when I don't love a song, but I don't know. Maybe it's something that will grow on me over time. Maybe it's something that I won't like. Maybe it won't get selected. I'm not really sure. I tend to avoid all of the news of what's happening in Eurovision. Um, so that my first reactions to everything are here. On its own, it is catchy, it's in my head, but I probably wouldn't choose to play it. Like, the dancing, the video, all of that was as weird as, as they are. But the song wasn't as unique as their previous song. And, I don't know, I think I was expecting more. I wasn't expecting them to top it, but I definitely don't think I was expecting them to have a more simple song. That was my initial reaction. I haven't heard it before, so that was my initial basic reaction to um, the song in the video. So, yeah, let me know your opinions in the comments. I'd love to know what you think about it. I'm definitely mixed, definitely mixed feelings about it. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. It really helps the YouTube algorithm pick it up and share it to more people. You don't have to agree with me. I just want to put this out there because when people don't agree with me, they tend to go straight to the dislike button and it's like, people, people, we're allowed to not agree. It's okay. We're not all going to like the same music, okay? So just don't go straight to dislike, please. Tell me your opinions and I will be really interested to read them. Don't be horrible to me because I'm going to have to turn the comments off and then it just spoils it for everyone. And I'm likely going to talk about this in every video, but there is still people suffering from the after effects of the earthquake in Croatia that happened around Christmas time so I am going to still be leaving links in the description for fundraisers and ways to help them because even though the news doesn't cover it anymore and the media's done with it, it doesn't mean um, that these people's lives have got better. If anything, it gets worse when they lose their initial support and outreach. So please, let's keep them in our hearts and our prayers and still be supporting them because they are still absolutely struggling. Please do subscribe to this channel for more things Eurovision. Obviously, the season is just beginning, so there's going to be all sorts of Eurovision content coming your way. And I'll see you in my next video on this channel. Bye guys!